So for today, we're going to be looking at Briar Binds. This is the new exotic for the Warlocks. If you guys don't know, the Titans and Hunters new exotic videos are already out. They're both right here. Definitely check them out because I do think the Hunters are super, super cool. A lot of fun and very usable, especially since uh, they're very usable in team based activities. Titans, however, I think you guys got the most fun and useful exotic right now because that that exotic is not only doing really good for their super, but also for concert consecration. I think it's called the melee. I think it's so much fun to the point where I actually made a build around that. So definitely check those two out. We look at how the exotic looks, what it does, how it shaders and an example set as well. The same thing we're going to be doing for the Warlocks. So Titans Warlocks or Titans and Hunters, you guys should definitely check those videos out. But for Warlocks, Briar Binds are not bad. I just think the play style that people are going to have to see with this one is something they're not going to like. So let's actually look at what it does one with the void your void souls have a longer duration they also gain escalating damage and durability as they defeat targets you can retrieve your void souls by interacting with them allowing them to be redeployed so this is an interesting play style because i ended up babysitting three at one point and i could have made another one if i had used my rift but it's interesting because i would just pick one up shoot an enemy and rinse rinse and repeat for all of the void souls that i currently had and it was a lot of fun i actually did have quite a good time with it that being said i found myself shooting less and more so just babysitting everything else and that was only with three void souls imagine four i would never have done anything but do that uh again i don't have an issue with it but i do think people will not like that play style i should also note that th this exotic really just showcased one of my biggest annoyance with void souls which was when I would, when I would want to send my void soul, sometimes it would just wouldn't activate. So for example, I would be shooting something when I had a void soul and it would not go anywhere. I shoot one enemy, another enemy one time immediately like, okay, I'm going to go for, the, for that guy. And it's like, I wanted the other guy, but sure, whatever, do that. So that really did show me just how annoying void souls was. Other than that, yeah, I don't think a lot of people are going to enjoy this playstyle. But for those who those of you who do, I do think it's a lot of fun. As for how it looks, it looks really cool. I like the the overgrown look of it. That being said, the only thing that I find really annoying is that there's certain pieces that don't change color, color. specifically the purple clams on the wood piece do not change color, which is very annoying. But other than that, the wood changes color. The under armor changes color. There's like this metal piece on the on the actual like hand that changes color a lot of it changes color thankfully so th that there is that it's not like super bad but at the same time the clams really do kind of throw me off sometimes as for the example set i ended up going for something weird because i the chest piece that i actually wanted to use i don't have yet so for the helmet elect of the empty hood is what we're using meriting constellation robe is the other piece hold fast boots and four under iron four runner Iron Forerunner Bond is what we're using. So my biggest problem is the fact that for me, I ended up wanting to use the seasonal ornament chest piece for this season, uh, just because it has bone or not bone. It has wood pieces as well. It's from the same season. So people could argue that's lazy, but at the same time, they were made for each other, I think. So that's why I wanted to use both of them. But I still wanted to use Elect of the Empty Hood because I think uh, the Elect of the Empty Hood looks really cool because from the front you just see a V that's it and then some purple off in the in the air but then when you see it turned you actually see that it forms a horn which looks really cool and maybe switch out the boots for something a little bit more gritty but I do think the iron four under bond would stay because it looks really cool I would just have to switch to shadering and speaking of shadering we're using Reef of Galia because it looks dark and foreboding and still has that pink or purple so that way you can see the elective empty hood combined with that so i really like this set i would just switch out the chess piece for these the seasonal chess piece just because i obviously those two would be really good together so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point let me know which one which of the classes got the best exotic i will say the titans got the best exotic just because it's super fun gives a super more life and a melee new life as well not saying the hunters is bad by any means i think it's really really cool it's just hard to beat something that does more damage for your super and your melee and it's just fun man so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i'll see you guys later